Today, I come to you with a rather interesting theory, and that theory is that Santa Claus created dinosaurs. Now stick with me for a second. So Santa comes from the North Pole to help remind a little girl of the meaning of Christmas spirit. <laughs> and who knew it? Being a white-haired jolly old guy, turns out he made a pretty good Santa. However, Upon spending time with humanity, he discovered what an awful species they truly could be. Whenever he finally decided that he no longer wanted to deal with their shit, he vowed that he would never help humanity again. However, being a man of much money, profiting from the capitalism that is the Christmas season where many parents obviously pay into the investment for their children's happiness, he, it was time to invest that money into a new project. So taking on the new disguise of John Hammond and with the vow that he was never going to help humanity again, instead he put his money into the creation of dinosaurs that he was going to keep within an amusement park. Welcome to Jurassic Park. Within this amusement park where resided dinosaurs, ultimately the human race would be attracted to come and see the spectacular sight that was dinosaurs and therefore being able to attract humans into this amusement park with the creation of dinosaurs, he was able to deal with humans' problem, humanity itself. But John, if the Pirates of the Caribbean breaks down, the pirates don't eat the tourists. So on its release day, I got to see Jurassic World and we got this ticket for our day pass to Jurassic World. It's almost like I went to Jurassic World, but I survived the experience because I'm, I'm a dinosaur professional. I, I, I could survive. And ultimately, if they create dinosaurs, I would go. And I would survive. I'm determined I would survive, but I would still go. I would take the risk and I would go because I love dinosaurs that much. On the release day, I did actually vlog before I went and then afterwards, and I haven't posted it yet, so I will include the vlog for my dinosaur filled day at the end of this video. But it was pretty darn amazing. I was pretty scared because being a Jurassic Park child, I was perhaps three whenever it was released, but I grew up watching it and re-watching it. So I went in with low expectations, but excited because ultimately dinosaur, and you can see that I was truly excited from the vlog. So I will leave you now with that vlog footage. As always, links to my other social media will be listed down below. And if you like this video, please do give it a big thumbs up. And if you have not already, please do subscribe. Join our family, you'll be most warmly welcome. And until the next video, guys, rah! Today is an exciting day because today is the opening day for Jurassic World. And I am so excited. My life is dinosaurs as... You may know, I don't know if like my absolute dinosaur obsession has ever been fully expressed and understood on this channel, but I'm obsessed with dinosaurs, so I'm so excited. So excited. So my outfit for today, shall we do this? My OTT, OTTD, that's how you say it right, for the day. I am wearing a Tyrannosaurus Rex t-shirt, which is kind of old. I got it in... Top shop, I believe, a very long time ago, and obviously, because I'm a dinosaur princess, it has to be a floral skirt with it, so you know, mixing it up a bit. Um, I do actually have a Jurassic Park t shirt that I wanted to wear, and I've no clue where it's gone, which kind of makes me sad because mm, I'm excited for the film, kind of nervous, but I think the fact that there's dinosaurs in it's just going to counteract anything bad by it because I'm just going to be like mesmerized on the screen because my favorite creatures are on it. I don't know, maybe. Me and my friends have been talking about it and we like really secretly hope that um, Richard Attenborough managed to record a cameo before he died. The likelihood and actuality of that may be like nil, but we can live in hope because it just would round it off lovely. The idea of it kind of makes me sad as well. So we finally had to do some adventures walking the dogs. And this time I remembered my sunglasses because I forgot my sunglasses while I was walking the dogs. And felt like Satan was burning my eyes. 
or trying to get me crow's feet and make me look the age that I actually am. So heading for a bus now and hopefully we'll be late. Because can't be late for dinosaurs. You ready? Yes. <sighs> I'm just an emotional wreck, guys. Like, dinosaurs just fill me with all the emotions. Baby triceratops. Baby triceratops. Like, triceratops is my ultimately favourite dinosaur. Um, it's pretty much my favourite dinosaur is joint with the Triceratops and the Draco Rex Hogwartsia. Um, if you don't know what that is, you should Google it because it is freaking awesome. And it's kind of in the name why it's awesome. You know, Draco Hogwarts. And basically it looks like the closest living thing um, that naturally, or prehistorically even, that we would have had to a dragon. But yeah. Baby Triceratops! So, um, I'm really glad that I didn't um, re-watch the old films like I was going to, or at least the first one last night, but I'm glad I didn't because I think if I had have watched the old one, I would have got too caught up in um, nostalgia and maybe not have appreciated this the way I am right now. Um, but I, I don't think this could ever be a bad film for me because I just adore dinosaurs. Would you look at that, it's a dinosaur, baby triceratops. I need to stop. I kind of want to watch Walking with Dinosaurs, but I, I don't think I can take the emotions. Has David Attenborough ever like, recorded a documentary about dinosaurs? Because he should. That'd be amazing. Nobody mourns the wicked, and we're going to have a discussion about this 